Okay, is it on? All right. So, hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Look at here, look at here, look at here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Look at my hair. It is exactly a year. A year. Ooh. <laughs> a year since I, you know what, let me stop. Hello, okay, so it's been a year since I shaved my hair. The big cut, the big chop. So here's my little afro. Now listen, the difference between me and the, them, they say a big chop. They say a big chop and their hair is like this. No, if you look back at my other videos, you can tell that I um, got it shaved off a Louis like I had I was bald so it wasn't a big chop it was a big shave all right so December 9th 2018 I got my hair cut but you see my afro now you see my afro now and it grew four inches at the top and I got I got receipts y'all know I keep my receipts okay wait let me see I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but can you see that right there? Four inches, okay? And then back here, you know, I have shrinkage. <laughs> I have shrinkage. My cousin was like, I don't see no hair. Well, look, fool. Shoot. All right, okay, let me see. It was five inches the other day. All right, well, whatever. It was five inches. Wait, let me see if I can. Let me see. Wait a minute, what happened? What is this? So four. Okay, well, the other day it was five inches. But today is four inches, and I'm good. I'm good with that, four inches in a year. Four inches in a year. I still got my little afro. You know, shoot, there's some people who hair never grow. I don't know what's going on. So I am not going to shave it again. I'm not going to shave it. I'm going to wait another year and see if I can get another four inches. What you think, huh? What you think? The thing about it is my hair is so fine and thin. And that gray, whoo, those gray hairs are just a mess. But yeah, this is it. Now, so, I got nappy hair, all right? I don't know if it's 4G, 4C, 5G. <laughs> 5G, you get the 5G. Anyway, so I got a couple of issues regarding this nappy hair situation. One, we were talking about, I called into ATLN, uh, Michelle, I forgot what Michelle's name is, um, on YouTube and she was telling me about how OG you know how she no 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 this was in 18 this was about Housewives of Atlanta how Eva Marcellus called some other cast members nappy headed whatever what's wrong with that pill you I mean that's not derogatory there's nothing wrong with nappy hair so if I say oh you are nothing but a stringy headed whatever that's not derogatory, so why should nappy hair be derogatory? She was like, well, you know, that's just not something that you say. Well, why not? Do they have nappy hair? If they have nappy hair, that's not derogatory because that's what they have, right? That's what they have, okay? My hair is nappy. Um, it's not a tight coil, but it's coil. It's kinky. And what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with, absolutely nothing wrong with nappy hair. The problem is, is that over the generations, you know, the slave master or whomever else, the whom, whomever, okay, I'm not going to be colorist or racist or whatever, but is known to believe that there's nappy hair is a problem. No, it's not a problem. It's a beautiful thing. I love my nappy hair. I can't wait. I hope my hair does grow another four inches. How big would that be? How big would eight inches be? Where is eight inches? Now imagine if my fro was this big, okay? Next year. Now what if it's this big? Oh, I'm rocking it. I'm rocking my fro. 
I am rocking it, and guess what? I'm going to love it. Just like I love me, and I love my nappy hair. So ladies, do not be afraid of your nappy hair. As a matter of fact, the new Miss America or Miss Universe or something from South, she's from South Africa, had a cute, you know, tapered cut with natural nappy hair at the top. And there's nothing wrong with it. She won Miss, is it Miss, no, it can't be Miss America. Miss Universe, Miss World, something. I don't know her name, but I know she's from South Africa. But listen, there's nothing wrong with nappy hair, okay? I love my nappy hair, and once it gets bigger, I'm going to sport my nappy hair now. This year, I'm going to do weaves or wigs or whatever to have my protective style because even though, like, I don't know if you can see it, but back here, I'll get a bald spot right here, like right around here, and it'll just come out. I remember one time I had a, a perm. I don't know if I said this before, but a perm. I hope y'all can see my little Hello Kitty. I had I threw a perm and color because I, I gray, honey. Gray is the reason for the season. But if I didn't gray my hair, it would be a whole this whole part, this whole top will be ice white. Um I put a perm and a coloring, and let me tell you. And then I threw a weave on. Not, I didn't put it in, but somebody else put it in. Let me, I had chunks of hair coming out, chunks of hair. But even this part, right, there's something about the crown, and I'm sure there's a lot of women, you know, who, their crown, there's something about the crown. Um, it'll just come out. So I have to be very careful. And I think that if I only use my hands to deal with my head, I think I can prob probably protect my hair. But um, yeah, I. so I think, you know, in a year, whatever, um, protective styles, weaves, I could braid hair. I just braided my hair. And everyone loved it. I mean, people were coming out. People I didn't know, spent a lot of men. Men love braided hair. I had, first I had the Nipsey braids. And guys would come up to me. Only guys. But then I had the, you know, the goddess braids with the braids coming down right here, whatever. And, oh, I mean, every day someone would come up to me and ask me and tell me how much they love me. I mean, strangers. Just, I would, you know, be shopping or whatever. And they would come up to me and be like, and men love braids. I don't know what it is, but they absolutely love it. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with nappy hair. And that wasn't a dig of Eva calling them nappy-headed or whatever. Because if they got nappy hair, that's not a dig. You know what I'm saying? That's just like saying, you. I, I wear red lipstick. Okay, well, if I read, wear red lipstick, then okay, I can't be mad at something that I, I, I do. Or I am. You see what I'm saying? That's just like someone saying, oh, you know, you look like you bleach your skin. Well, in the winter time, you know, my skin, my complexion, like, goes away. My melon, is that what it is? Whatever. That makes my skin dark. Okay. So, we got that. There's nothing wrong with nappy hair. And Eva, I'm with you, girl. Whatever. Okay. Next subject is regarding hair. Is it regarding hair? You know what? That's what happens when you get old. You can't remember. I should write this stuff down. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, well. You know what? This is my hair. I can't think of what else I was going to say. You know what? I think I'm getting on stage dementia. I'll make some other videos of... Of... Um some other things but i'm not going to tie it into this one darn it i was thinking you know what you gotta write down what you're talking about when before you make a video that way you don't sound feel like you know you're on stage four dementia but yeah this is my hair let me see how far does it go now remember you guys if you go back to december 9th 2018 i had no hair i was completely bald Ba 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 ball, okay. Boop boop. Focus. There you go. I was completely bald, and now I got my little afro. Okay, it's not big, but it's an afro. And listen, you know, um, 
when you get old, you kind of lose the thickness and everything. And I just like my afros because, like, again, I said my hair is so thin and fine. And, you know, when I have my afro, I hope you can. Okay, can you see it with the, the back, the, the white backdrops? Because I know my little statues. Okay, you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that afro. Yes. Yes, I guess my little thing shrunk because I swear it was five inches earlier this week, but I wore it braided, you know, like six pigtails or whatever, so that I can get some volume. Because if not, the shrinkage will really bring it down. But you know, I'm gonna put, like I said, I'm gonna put it in um, some protective styles, and I'm gonna see what happens. In this time next year so hopefully you'll get another video on December 9th 2020 to show how much you know my hair is but it did grow four inches four inches four inches I'm trying to hurry up and make this video before the, the Sun goes down it's, but yeah it's four inches let me see let me see if you can put this on the inside like that uh, hold that down and bring that to the four no that's to the three shoot okay let's do it this way okay so put the one here <laughs> okay it's very okay it's it's okay i don't know it's not saying four inches and i don't know there it is Whew. that's a lot i don't know how you youtubers be doing that or whatever but you know when you guys be doing it y'all be like okay 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 like this like that like that I'm like oh calm down goodness it seems like poor hair or whatever i can't do all that to my hair because you know my hair is nice and soft i can't be tugging and all that stuff no i'm gonna throw it in some braids or i'm gonna put some nipsy nipsy braids back in like one two three four i might put one down the middle and um or i might throw in i might do some nipsy braids for two weeks but you know what i did like my hair you see that gray you see that gray right there you see all that I had dyed my hair with be Beijing or whatever, and um, it didn't take. Okay, you see that gray? You see, you see that right there? That's gray hair. It didn't take. And I don't know what happened, but I was like, oh, honey, wait a minute. But yeah, this is my hair after <laughs> after a year. Yeah, and listen, like I said, go back. I should have my other phone, but go back a year ago, and it's. I think I have on a 49er t shirt, red t shirt, and I have no hair like none. I think I made about two or three videos, and literally, I have no hair. I know I've gained weight. We're gonna do another video on that. We're gonna start. I'm the same way that I was before. I went all the way to my birthday, which was June 25th, was in Vegas. Literally, the stomach appeared. Let me see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, the stomach appeared, and it never went away. I don't know what, but I've had a colonoscopy. I'm about to have a hemorrhoidectomy. I think that's the word and I'm trying want to get a tummy tuck and I got to get my teeth fixed you know I got to be looking good when I turn 51 because when I turn 50 the stomach came and it just never went away so I'm just gonna do no sugar for the next decade not for the next couple months the next decade so January 1st my goal is not to have any sugar for the next 10 years now I don't know if it's gonna last for 10 minutes but that's my goal um so, like I said, that stomach came and it never went away. I mean, I, literally, the day I hit 50, that weight curve has been going up. Now, I worked out like a dog. I was walking 12 to, no, 8 to 16 miles a day. 
and I got it down, but literally, day 50, year 50, on that day in Vegas, my stomach came and it has not went anywhere. It's progressing, not degressing. Is that the word? I don't know, but it's driving me crazy. But you know what? I'm healthy. I got hair. I got edges. Y'all see these edges, okay? And the thing about it is, ooh, these gray hairs. Speaking of edges, the gray hairs. Oh, my goodness. Literally, I would be white. White, gray hair if I didn't uh, dye my hair, literally. So, I think that's about it. Um, I can't remember. Oh, you know, I'm so proud of the sister from South Africa that won that title. It's all over Facebook. Um, that's my phone. I super hard to get it. And I'm just, I'm ecstatic, you know, because she was natural. She didn't have the long weed, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, whatever. It's just a nice, you know, high top, whatever. It was cute. But she's tiny, you know what I'm saying? She's like a stick, so... You know, I think when you when you when you carry less, you can wear more. Like you see how my face is, I'm kind of like fat, whatever. My head is big or whatever. So, you know, I need to have hair in my face, whatever. You know, it doesn't have to be a weed, or whatever. But, um, I mean, I need to lose a good sixty pounds. Yeah, but hopefully next year I'll be smaller. I'm 50. I, I don't even care anymore. I, I just, it just doesn't matter. I, I, I'm i like, whatever. You young people, y'all do whatever you want to, I, you know. But, um, hopefully next year, excuse me, hopefully next year, um, like I said, December 9th, 2020, I will have eight inches. Okay, and I look forward to, you know, making more videos. I'll probably do an update in March. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do an update in March. If I get a tummy tuck, hopefully I'll do an update right before I get my tummy tuck, if that's possible. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope life is wonderful. I hope you guys all still have your edges. Um, okay. Okay, and um, stay tuned. Okay, goodbye.